Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of your Dot Pro Show with Korean Barbecue and Woodshrew. Uh, Hi, I'm Korean. You're, you'd probably be KBBQ in I'm this Korean, case. No, I, I didn't. And me and Denny together would be Woodshrew. <laughs> <laughs> we're about as MMR together. together. <laughs> but we're... We're here today, so we so we we don't want to give you another rerun. We're giving you tons of reruns, and we under, and we know that. Yeah. And so instead, you know, proud. It must be so hard being you, getting free fucking content. Yeah, I know. Every fucking it. day of the week. But <laughs> oh, you're talking to the listener right now. <laughs> yeah. We do get a lot of complaints about the lack of Wednesday show. Well, people say they just don't listen to it, and it kind of... Sh- you guys do, though. Like, yeah. We can see <laughs> no. that. What, well, uh, I would say two th- so, about two-thirds. So, in conclusion, yeah. now yeah. enjoy the rerun that we're about to air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be easy. We'd be done a that minute would, in. That'd be rude as shit. Man. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a fun joke to think about. Anyway. Um, but, yeah. No, sitting here with me, Cyphus, obviously. Yep, yep. And uh, Proud, who I've actually only been on a show with once, and that was the first show he ever came Damn. on, and then have ne- and haven't been on an episode with him since. I don't think I've ever yeah, been on I had a show. pretty good record going, but uh, now <laughs> pretty I'm good record going. Too. <laughs> no, and I guess this is your first time being on a show with Proud. Yeah. We actually have a really funny dialogue with proud and we like proud a lot um i mean we talk about him on our show i guess so people yeah, every day it. every time i listen in it's just all you do is you don't you listen me. you're the marcia the you're the marcia point brady, point. brady of dot p you know, it's just yeah. proud 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 yeah it's yeah. all about proud i get it <laughs> okay proud this no, no no uh you uh you don't listen to the show you don't listen to the monday show i listen to, I listen to every show that we've ever put out six times that's that's a <laughs> fucking lie i want to know the truth do you listen to the show I listen sometimes. Same. <laughs> Same. Like four times because I was listening to my show a shit ton because I'm like, man, I'm why am I so good at this? How can I improve? And then I just come back like I can't figure it out, so I have to listen to it like three more times, uh, and then maybe I'll listen to what you know someone less important has to say. <laughs> um, uh, I listened to I listened to the draft budgeting episode. Oh well, I listened to that you because you listened to it live because you were accommodating the recording. Because somebody's always here, because we record out of the studio, even when it's remote. Like, Proud, Proud's from, what, Southern California? You have... Northern California now? Do you know anything about me? He's from, <laughs> he's from you know, the he's, one, the state that's going to be chopped into five here. states. Oh, my God. Isn't it going to be new five states? No, no. no. Uh, they're gonna make happen, it. That was a pipe dream somebody had. happen. They should do that. I thought it was Well, a good wait, idea. actually, isn't the California economy, like, rebounding in a crazy great way? Uh, I mean, we have Silicon Valley, so, I mean, that's all you need to say about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess that is in California. Huh? Well, because that was all yeah. the rage. Like... It's like 20 minutes from me. Oh, cool. I live in Silicon Valley. My, I, I, I breathe in the fucking air. Do you watch right? that show, Silicon nope. Valley? I've never nope. seen it. And I've been told I'd love it. Every ugh, You t- took the words out of my mouth. Yeah. It always starts like this. Hey, have you seen Silicon Valley? No, but everybody says I, I'll love it. No, you will love it. And I even give the precursor of everybody says that I'll love it. Yeah. And they still tell me I'll love it. So I should maybe give it a shot. All right, good to know. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Story. Yeah, was, this, this is, this is this kind is of... This is how you tell stories, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess get proud on here to keep me in shape. Yeah, anyway. Be nice. Anyway. <laughs> Awkward pauses. That's one thing that Proud is not scared to have is like an, an eleven second awkward pause with Ursi. Yeah. And Ursi's like, "All right, um, moving on to the next section." I, I know just I'm still... on the show. You don't have to fucking tell me. We... <laughs> oh my god! See, it's it's sarcasm. It's it's. I only do it because I love you. See, that's okay. So the thing with reading reading my. I mean, fucking insanely Jewish sarcasm is like, if it sounds like I'm being an asshole, chances are I'm joking. And I know that kind of sounds like a free pass to say whatever the fuck I want. But <laughs> it kind of does sound is, like a double standard. Like, talking is so fucking boring that unless you're just being an asshole the whole time, I just can't fucking be arsed to bother. Uh, we, we thought talking was so important that other people needed to hear us talk. <laughs> I don't I don't think <laughs> Thousands of that. <laughs> yeah. God also, knows. talking to listening is way worse, so here we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, it, the the relationship I have with Proud is one that is basically built on sarcasm and 
and your soul patch. I mean, those are the really the two things that we talk about. It, it, Honestly, the only reason I'm going to TI is just so I can slit your throat in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and do us all a favor. <laughs> he might be an assassin. You don't know. Yeah. Uh, no, I would know. I'd be the one who hired him for yeah, sure. Yeah, actually, he would. You'd kill. Oh, yeah, okay, you would want to usurp the... Don't need yeah. the yeah, usurp, okay. the usurp the throne. Usurp the throne. Roland and Friends. So we were on this show, and it, was, it said Roland and Friends. Defense of the Patients, Roland and Friends. And it even made me a little weirded out. I was like... Yeah, because you don't have... I've already to told you why that like was. Weird false advertising. And I was like, it's not... And I, it, it's, it, it like almost seemed as though I was like, yeah, and when you... When you put in us, just put in our logo and put in Roland and Friends. I don't know. And it it's like, because I, I kick back and let you do the <coughs> ranting and the raving. I let you talk. I let you go on like a madman. You do all the time. I tangent a lot. Yeah, yeah. and I I facilitate it. I'm I'm an enabler. So that makes you that. my just the friend. Yeah, you, it's like uh, Roland and. And the and the cyphers. Well, think about who you remember at the party. You know, everybody's drunk, super annoying. <laughs> but there's the one guy who's really loud and obnoxious the entire goddamn time. And there's like the two dudes standing behind him who went there with him. And they're like, "Oh yeah, that one fucking guy, Roland, and his fucking friends." Oh, proud would hate me in real life. It's it's gonna be. I doubt it. I don't hate anyone unless I hate them. <laughs> unless I hate them. Oh, just oh I bet he... there's a few people. You wait till really he gives hate. you some oh, Pokemon yeah, Go funny. shit. <laughs> Wait till he gives you some Pokemon Go shit, and then we'll see. Just not, just not Roland. Roland's a cute boy. Yeah, I, I mean, I am, and and that's why people tune in massively to watch me on stream. Yeah, everyone uh, really just... <laughs> massively. Uh, you get, I got three wins today in a row. I'm at my wow, personal that's height. a. So you're what like? My personal height. Guess my MMR. That's a. That's a. That's a. Game. Yeah. Seventeen. Eighteen. <laughs> Are you being serious, dude? No, I know you're way higher than 18. That's that's two digits. Not, well, that's let's impossible. not say way. He had three wins. Let's not say way. <laughs> oh no, higher. he was guessing at 18. I wasn't saying 1800. I said literally 18. But that was oh 18 like, MMR. Yeah. Yeah, like the number one than eight. That was that was oh the, just anyway. wow. Just this is really going great. 18. Wow, I thought you would give me. I I mean I was even a little I was I was, by I was kind of really hard to make it like to make it known that I was joking, but still you fucking geez. see I don't sometimes I don't get it and it usually just ends with like hey guess what fuck you proud, uh, which is yeah no I'm actually twenty six uh, eighty five so uh, nice one game away from twenty seven hundred in my solo, which you know I try and be humble about yeah. my solo. Oh, you're the most because humble because guy I know <laughs> because. It's not 3K yet, but it's it's coming. It's not even close, really. Do you what? So I end, now that I'm like 2700. I remember I had a friend that was 2700 proud, and I like Fro. Okay, Fro. Okay. We talk about him okay. all the time. He was like 2700. Remember, and I couldn't yeah. believe it. It's like that's so. Right. That's a crazy high MMR. All right. You're what like 4.5? 4. 47 right now. 47. What is it? Did, do, what? How do you view like a 3K player? Like if my MMR was 3000, what am I lacking? What don't I have that you, you, don't know how that to you farm, do? You don't know how to back. I don't know how to back. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, so the, the, that's true. What, one of the real things that fucking like got, at least made my pub experience better, is I bound my B key to the like chat wheel command get back. And if you ever play with me, anytime anything happens, I'm there spamming B and it just says <laughs> get back, get back, get back. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's the best shit ever, dude. That's I'll, a like, great if idea. You play with me, it just always says get back. Because the thing is, if your pubs know the dive is real, they will not fucking listen to you. But if they're unsure about it, you can be sure that they are wrong to dive there. So if you say get back and they ignore it, that's good. They they know what they, they were like, that's it. That, that's the dive. I don't care what you say. I'm going for it. But if you say get back and they're like, I don't know if I should dive or not, like they'll make the correct decision and get back. Because if it's a good dive, wow. they'll know. Yeah, that's if like not, sheep herding a little bit. Like, yeah, well, I mean, welcome to fucking Dota 2. <laughs> <laughs> I've never put it in that like crude no, that's of a, a term. That's but... a, a beautiful. It, it, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I don't have anything uh, on my B key right now. I'm gonna do that. Thumb and shit. Yeah, but like, okay. So think about think about <laughs> thumb this and game. Shit would be with two, my all thumb. right. You know what people want to do? They want to get kills. And you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna try to like look to trade their life for one other person, which is like never good unless it's like you know support for the mid or whatever. But like in general, if it's a dive, they're gonna die after they do it. So like at best, if they go for it, it's a one for one. And at worst, it's like a zero for one. So if you just always tell them to get back. That is like you know, really good. Yeah, I'm, that, I'm really smart. That's No, why. that really did just like hit home with me because so many times I'll yeah. be like, well, I got him. And it's like, well, you died. 
And yeah. it's like, but I got him. And it's like, well, you died. And it's like, yeah, really, it's well, just and a new you're point. playing a carry typically. And how often has that yeah. been for a support? Yeah. Like, oh, you know too what I mean? often. And and honestly, I think it'll make me get back if I'm telling people to get back with a chat wheel. I may do the yeah. chat wheel because I never really, I don't really communicate much with my pubs. Um, I kind of just. The other good thing with the chat wheel is it like translates into whatever language the person is using. So like, oh, yeah, cool. if you're saying typing like "get back, my good sir," like, yeah, don't fucking. <laughs> it'll it'll <laughs> translate. Know what that means, like... but if you say you know "get back," it'll translate that shit to Spanish, and then you're set. That's awesome. That that you is... didn't know that. I knew that it translated. No, oh, what's okay. awesome is B, because like yeah. I associate B in my mind to uh, typing B uh, in StarCraft when you were playing with people, because voice it didn't have like this, you know, the voice wasn't very yeah. great unless you're playing in the same room. So you type like B, like B, 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 yeah. enter, B, enter, B, enter, and so it just makes sense like to just spam that out and just yeah. be like, hey, it's and, the best. Oh, dude, my Slark could learn a thing or two about the B, because Slark is on the thin line of you know, going way too far. And I know you're a Slark player, yeah. and I'm a shitty, like, I've climbed a, a bit with Slark, although I have a below 50% win rate with him. I know I've climbed with him, because I lost I, a lot of I know that feeling. Dude, my jug had, my, my like, 800 Ebomar loose streak was on my Juggernaut, and it had a below 50%. I was like, well, guess I'm just the worst Juggernaut. But no, we we found the build, now it's great again. Yeah, and, and, we, and also we've had conversations on Twitter back and forth about, um... The Echo Saber first and how what Ursi said got echoed in a different way on the Monday show, which Ursi said, hey, if you're not going to be aggressive, may as well go Echo first, is basically what he said. He didn't say go Echo first. Yeah. Uh, he said, if you're not going to be aggressive, go Echo first, because at least it'll improve your farm. Yeah, if, if you want a turbo farm, like going Echo before uh, Shadow Blade, or Shadow Blade is, is actually not, not too bad. But like there are some games where I'm dealing with like... Um, I don't know, an Omni Knight. Uh, heroes that I know aren't very easy to gank as Slark. Like, you, it takes a while. Yeah. Unless, yeah, and you, you don't have Orchid with this build, obviously, so you can't really stop an Omni. Sure. Um, where I'm just like, fuck it, I'm going to go Echo Saber. And it, it's kind of been like every game now where I justify a reason <laughs> for, fuck it, I'm yeah, going to go Echo Saber, then Shadow Blade. It's important to understand whether or not this is actually like the build or if you just wish it was the build and yeah. you're trying to find justification for it. And you guys were comparing it to a Midas. You were saying it's similar yeah, to a Midas. I, I think... What about I the stats? The stats are so good, though. I thought it's like... Yeah, no, the, the stats are good. Stats on Midas are good, too. 30, you know... 35 attacks. But, yeah. I mean, it's, it's the idea. Like, you get Midas when you have, like, a shit ton of farm. You can get it really fast. And you want to just, like, scale really well. And, like, going Echo... Like, it's it's a farming item. Midas is Slark's farming item. Echo Saber is, I think, the new best farming item for Slark. Yeah. Well, um, that's, I mean, that's the only real equivalent. Would you still go Midas on him at all? Uh, I, I don't really like if, if you're tri laning and you're stuck with three heroes in your lane and you're like you you're like level five at ten minutes, um, then go Midas because the experience is super important. Um, but if you're just straight looking for gold and to be able to like hit a power spike of like fighting early, like Midas is just I need to catch up on experience and fighting at some point would be cool and I want reliable gold because I'm gonna die. And then Echo Saber is more like. I'm doing real good this game. I want to farm a lot more, and then I want to fight. Like once I got my items at twenty minutes. <laughs> that's, that's how it is. A good game is like I have. I'm I'm rounding Silver Edge around twenty four minutes with the Echo Saber, and I always do sure. Silver Edge. Although I buy the Ultimate Orb without the recipe and hold on to it for a second, unless I'm dealing with like a PA. If I'm dealing with a PA, seconds? I mean I'll I'll hold on to it until I have, you know, I don't know. 400 500 gold something like that so you don't know how many seconds no it just depends like did you figure this shit out before you invite me on a show <laughs> i did i did know i wanted to talk about slark i, knew I, you were on the show. I, I knew you wanted didn't... to talk about slark before we had the idea for this show well okay. yeah that's true that's true but that's all it's bad I, lately but proud just get your shit together next a 4k time, okay? slark i don't know like you play slark you're playing slark in this that's patch. true I'm... i've played i've played this hero before you are you playing it right now i have two games on him recently one was a win and the other was a loss what did they like counter pick timber saw or was it just oh my god no, they had fucking anti-mage and ricky and my team ricky had the, smoke cloud. the only Ugh. disable we had for anti-mage was a fucking drow silence and our uh. omni knight went deso shadow blade so i'll just give you a little hint about how that game went so the omni knight thought he was the shit and that he could carry a game even you know he did he did pretty well it's just that like what is a team with no disable going to do against ricky anti-mage and silencer and the answer is get global silenced 
Wow. Then I've anti to kill everyone. Yeah, it was. A, and it I was bet not, at your level they're game. smoking you, right? Like you're getting I, like. Oftentimes, I'm not that scared to go up against the Ricky. Matter of fact, I'll just buy dust against the Ricky and kill him because yeah. people are way timid with their smoke cloud. It seems they like, or they they don't favor it. They favor like uh, the W tricks of the trade. Yeah. Um, but I oh, I, still I know people... smoke cloud. Fuck Slark. Like yeah, that I, is. I I feel like the I still see a lot of people, and I think it's because that build still suggests it because they but they. I, all the time maxing the invis over maxing the smoke cloud yeah i i don't know I, what do you what do you have to say about following the standard builds like do you is it a good um, idea to learn how to play the game is it not a good idea if you had to start all over would you tell yourself your tell your past self to use the guides would you tell yourself not to um depends on the hero like your own original ideas are probably worse than the standard builds but the standard builds are very far from optimal. Like, my favorite troll build right now, I'm, like, I have four points in Q, four points in E, one point in W at level 10. Um, I have ulti, of course, but... So you yeah, just like, use I don't, W? I don't, even, to... I don't even max W anymore on, on troll, and, like, I think that's the best build for him. But, like, I would have fucking called you just stupid as shit if you told me that two weeks ago. Is it because you just need one point in Whirling Blades? Is that all you're thinking? Uh, the like the mischance doesn't scale, and the like the scaling on on ranged axes isn't like that good. The damage doesn't scale at all, and you farm so fucking fast with four points in E, and then also you walk fast as shit with four points in Q, and you bash yeah. for two fucking seconds. So I mean, a little bit of magic damage, Whoa. loot loss, whatever. I'll, I'll take farming faster and having like forty fucking move speed. And yeah. the ability to stunlock people at level 11. So are you just playing safe lane troll? If I play a troll, I play him safe lane. I don't actually think he's that strong. I play, we play him in certain team comps we run. Like, um, if I have Skrunk on Tiny ever, I'll play troll Warlord and will combo super well. Because um, he throws you in it. and you just hit No, because he has 300 base damage and no attack speed. And then I press R and oh, he has all the attack speed in the world. Yeah, Tiny, Tiny does oh, really yeah. well with troll. That's fucking um, smart. Yeah, wow. there there was one game we played together. It was so fucking good. It was um we were doing some shit like sieging a rax or whatever, and then I we, I would we would just like wait, and then he would blink in on their tower, and I would ulti, and then we would do some shit, and he would just like kill a tower in like half the duration of my ultimate, and then blink out, and then they'd be like, wait, what the fuck happened? Where'd our tower go? Oh, that is awesome, Ratas. Yeah, is what that is. <laughs> some dirty shit. Especially uh, with an Aghanims. Doesn't Tiny's Aghanims, I don't, I don't yeah, play Yeah, it a makes ton. him do bonus damage to towers. Yeah, he's, bonus to he, ta- He's the only hero that maybe rivals uh, Deso, Lone Druid, and Tower damage. Oh, yeah, because the bear doesn't do normal damage. The bear, bear does, does additional through demolish and also through doing normal damage. See, I don't understand this normal yeah, I guess damage, I don't either. hero yeah. damage. So there's there's hero. So now there's just three. There's normal piercing and hero. Okay. Um, hero does 100% to towers. Piercing does less. Oh, there's siege as well. Piercing does less. Um, and normal does like 125% or something like that. Oh, no. Hero does 50. Normal does 75. Piercing, I think, does 50 as well or something like that. That doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is. That normal damage does 75% damage to towers, heroes do 50. So normal does 50% more damage than heroes do, because yeah. you know, 50% yeah, yeah, yeah. of 50 is 25. It, that although you'd think it'd be like, don't, don't you just add it? Yeah, math So works. fun fact, uh, little creeps, uh, like lane creeps, do more damage to towers um, percentage-wise than you do. So it makes more sense for you to clear a wave and to get your creeps cleared, uh, like freed up faster to hit the tower then it does for you to spend your year damage at 50% return on the tower and let the creeps do their damage at, you know, whatever percent return to the creeps. So oh you just God. wipe the creeps out yourself. Well, of there. course, depends on the hero. Yourself. Like, if I'm Drow Ranger, I should just, shouldn't I just... Um, I mean, if if you're gonna just kill the tower, then yeah, but, um, mm-hmm. you know, like, with Drow, there's the idea of, like, maybe, you know, my projectile is flying and then another projectile is flying, but then the creep dies before my projectile hits, so that's a wasted auto attack and there's all this shit to it. But, you know, if, yeah. like, if you have AoE um and like in in general at the very least if you have cleave like clear out the creep wave and then clear the tower but if everything worked out perfectly it would make the most sense if you were like fucking wraith king or something to auto attack the creeps down and kill them and then kill the tower once the creeps are also helping you hit the tower because the creeps are doing normal damage to the tower yeah because the creeps do normal damage so the so let's say creep Ah. does 20 damage and it would (laughs) so it would do like 15 damage to the tower and then like 20 damage to the creep and let's say you do 100 damage, you do 50 damage to the tower, 
and 100 damage to the creeps. So if you have like four or if you have five creeps and then you, it makes more sense for you to be killing the creeps and for the creeps to be killing the tower. That's crazy. The creeps would do the creeps uh, would do 75 damage to the tower and you would do 50. So uh, all those creeps totaled up that is. Buffing a catapult then as ogre mage so uh, catapults is do huge. huge damage and they do bonus damage to towers. Catapults actually I think I, I read this once creeps do creep like a single melee creep actually does almost more damage or does i think almost as much damage to a tower as a catapult does because the catapult attacks slow as fuck and yeah. the creeps do less damage but i mean oh so if you think about it, like a melee creep honestly does almost as much damage as a catapult because it's uh, the time just because of how fast they attack yeah attack speeds okay yeah dude it's just food weird you saying weird that has just things. made me like yeah. contemplate for instance Somebody. Oh, that's why it feels so easy to, like, push down a tower when I run Bristle back up and fucking eat down a wave with Bristle before it ever has a chance to do battle with my wave. And then yeah, I backtrack it and fucking attack the first tower. Or axe cutting the wave. How quickly I, I does that to, tower like, fall? Yeah, uh, always. Pretty fast, dude, yeah. yeah. I, I need to actually make... Because, like, that, the, the thing about a melee creep doing almost as much damage as a siege creep, I'm just like... I still don't really believe that, and I knew I read something about it. I'm not sure exactly how much it is. I don't, I don't think it's, like, the whole... I don't know. There, there's something going on there, but... I don't bet it's that, close. Or, don't take that as gospel. Um, I bet I it's close or sure equal. Close or equal. But when you, I mean, if you can hit it with um, Bloodlust on Ogre Mage, and I mean, I wonder if it's better to hit a melee creep. Like, I'm, I'm, well, and I'm, why I'm it feels say, so much easier pushing towers with Venge near Venge in your fucking also, also standing uh, in your wave. Also, siege creeps. Yeah. Um, siege creeps prioritize the tower over other creeps, right? So. Yeah. Um, one of the reasons why, like, oh, we push with the siege wave is because the siege creep will always hit the tower. And, like, and as we said, we prefer for creeps to be hitting towers and for heroes to be hitting creeps. But the siege creep is the only creep that will actually do that for you. And the tower pr prioritizes it last if there's a creep wave. Yes. So it's going to be there if, unless the heroes take it out for yes. the longest duration. So if you just have, like, if you have creeps meeting underneath underneath a tower, the catapult wave is the only wave that's actually going to do damage. So that's why it's like, well, that thing does so much damage to towers because it actually attacks them. Yeah, and it's, and it's because people don't clear waves. That's super cool, especially for Slark. I mean, there's no reason to attack the tower. I would always kill the wave first, but that's just because oh, yeah, Slark sure. has a Q that you just constantly hit, you know what I mean, and kill millions of creeps. But no, it... it it so, totally makes sorry, sense. Yeah, that, look at Broodmother. Like, look at Broodmother if she's winning her no. lane and off lane. How quickly she gets that tier one down, and that's because she's eating the wave and all of her spiders, which I'm guessing do normal damage to towers as well. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure those normal. Eve, sorry, uh, nor normal does uh, or basic attack does seventy percent, not seventy five to towers. So okay. I'm very sorry, everyone. Well, do, I don't think I, people I mean, should hang you for the numbers. It's just yeah. knowing that there's three different types because. I didn't it's something I never I didn't know that a year Jesus. ago. I didn't know that a year ago. I didn't know yeah. that maybe six months ago that there was different. I mean, I always wondered when picking up a javelin what piercing damage did. I, I and guess I always assumed right. it was armor oh, that's, related. Guess, that's, that's still just what? javelin. I don't think is is piercing damage. I think the attack is just called pierce, like for fun. Oh, dude, the things that so, noobs get in their mind. I mean, I thought it did plus fifteen piercing we... damage for the no. longest time. Plus, ugh. Okay, never mind. Okay, so here's 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 some weird shit. So you think about us like alchemists, um, like a, a, alchemist nuke, right? His his stun that does physical Un damage. Unstable. Yeah. Yeah. So that okay. that doesn't do hero damage, and then physical damage. Like the damage type on that isn't hero type, isn't hero damage, physical damage. It's just physical damage straight. So there's no like things that aren't your auto attack. They're not taking this weird. Um, this weird, like, this type of damage does, you know, oh, reduce okay. damage to this thing. It's just straight physical. It's just, it, that's it's just, it's just like, much. it's just that number then applied to your armor. Nothing else. No other stupid bullshit in there. Oh, so armor still will count in against a physical spell attack. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, like, okay. yeah, if, like, if, if Alchem, or if, if Slardar uses Crush on you and you have, like, Dragonite level armor, it's going to do, like, you know, 50% damage or something. That's why, like, okay. physical spells are really good early game when people don't have any armor. Um, but then as you have more minus armor, like Dazzle wants minus armor um, for, or like rather maybe Dazzle doesn't want minus armor. He's not going to build Desso for the most part. But like if you, if you use Slardar's uh, amp damage on someone mm -hmm. and then they have minus 20 armor and then they get heal bombed, they just fucking die. Yeah. Oh, I know. And so, so healing is physical from Dazzle. Uh, Shadow Wave. Yeah. 
So yeah, if, if you heal bomb with Dazzle, it'll do physical damage to you. So if you have a shit ton of armor, shadow the uh, like heal bomb won't do that much. That's why like early game heal bot hurts for a shit ton, or heal bomb hurts for a shit ton. And then once you have a bunch of armor late game, like you know spells, spell physical spells have negative scaling as the game progresses, right? Um, and then magical spells for the most part have like linear scaling. So like, well, or one, one... up because this new int thing, right? Does do you think that matters that much? That what it's like every. Uh however much int it's plus one yeah. percent spell it's, damage yeah well that's it's not spell damage as in magic damage it's just damage of oh spell. okay it, yeah okay so it doesn't matter if it's a physical spell or like, magical sa- spell. same shit that uh that what's that fucking thing called can you tell me please what that item aether lens aether a- anything lens. that aether lens buffs <laughs> is the same thing i'm pretty sure I mean, where Yoda it's five so percent spell shit, damage like, yeah there's so yeah, right but damage. not magical damage it's just fucking damage I, from your abilities Wow. It's, it, it, the league name of ability power honestly fits much better for this kind of thing. Um, so, like, yeah, just think of it as ability power. Dude, trying to teach somebody that, like, tr- right, imagine sitting stupid. somebody down. Don't even bother playing it, honestly. Yeah, like, oh <laughs> my god. Was, yeah, so I think where the confusion was on the javelin is, yeah, that the ability is called Pierce, and it says down below, though, oh, by the way, if all you looked uh, at was down below in the description, it says Pierce damage 85. Yeah, so it looks and, uh, like it. It looks like it means adding pierce damage, but in all reality, what it means is th- if you hit your proc on pierce, the ability of a javelin, you do an extra eighty-five damage. Yeah, and pierce, oh. by the way, is magical damage. So just let that fucking blow up for a couple seconds in your head. Wait, the pierce damage pierce on the javelin? Damage. Yeah, right. So you know how MKB does magical damage when it procs? Pier- uh, the I did javelin not know that. Damage. Yeah, well, I had it does. no fucking clue. That, so when you hit somebody, it, it's doing magical damage when it's stuttering them. Yes, it's doing whatever hundred some magic damage. Maybe I just get it. Like my timings are so bad that I just don't notice these things. Like Skull it's basher. just magic at our at our level. When something like that yeah. happens, it's just oh that was magic and I and I killed him. <laughs> and and that's like well, wow I do a lot of damage or I, something like I that. I mean I I guess I I don't. Here's the thing: is at, at my level, I don't even know what to do with the fact that I now know that that does magic damage. Mm-hmm. What do I really do with that? Well, well, it scales better. <laughs> well, it's it maybe not scales it, it better. It ignores armor. Physical damage, physical damage has like negative scaling uh, as you go later. Like I know you think that, okay, physical damage cores, they scale better. Um, but that's only because they have more attributes to scale with. Like, you know, they have plus damage and shit. And then they have crit. And then they have attack speed and minus armor and all that shit. But um, if you think about like... How much 300 physical damage means early game versus how much 300 physical damage means late game? It's like a fucking world of difference. Um, like, n- let let's say, let's say I do like 100, or like 300 damage, and then someone has 50% armor, right, or something like that. Come come late game, um, I'm gonna value a 300 damage nuke way more than do 300 physical damage. Yeah. It's just that like you know finding 300 physical damage late game is much easier. But magic damage is so fucking good. Like think about fighting a morphling. When he has like a thousand two hundred health at forty minutes, but he has insane armor. Like he's got like forty five fucking armor points. Yeah. But if you do like magic damage to him, you just blow um, him up. Yeah. Like I see a lot of people uh, when I'm talking about Juggernaut. I'm like, yo, never build Maelstrom on this hero, you stupid fucks. And then sometimes people are want to be assholes and like, well, what if you're fighting a Morphling? Like, yeah, okay, fine. Like he has a shit ton of armor. You do magic damage and you kill Morphling. Like, go home. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. And I would. So yeah, like MK- <laughs> no, no, it makes sense. Yeah. Like, as more I, yeah. I played, I play straight Agi Morphling. I, I played him just the other day, and like I can get away with like having three hundred health in lane, and yeah. just because they all just they farm. Do is, like the harass is all physical damage. So yeah, and, yeah, and I just I just hold R for a second if 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 I need to. You know what I mean? Um, but but later game, you can have a swarm of people jump you, and you just press R and then double click your TP. And they still try, and they try, and they try, and they try, and you never die um, against, like, you know, your your physical teams. But, yeah, no, it's it definitely sucks to play against, like, Tinker. Um, a good example of this armor thing, also uh, noticing the difference on, like, Treant's uh, right-click at the start of the game uh, compared to Treant's uh, right-click later in the game, is playing Sven. And when you hit Sven's armor, where it gives you an insane amount of armor, say, in the early mid-game, yeah, you notice a huge difference. I mean, on the damage oh, yeah, you're taking. Dude. Play Juggernaut. Try to Omni slash a Sven like right after he presses E. That's a world of difference. That's a yeah. difference between a kill and not even close to a kill. Yeah, and that's why I. I mean, you know, one in the stun, 
and and the rest in the you know the rest basically favoring cleave i do too in the stun just think really yeah i i like it at, like the difference between getting a kill on uh on in safe lane is like like one point of stun is a world of difference for a kill between like four and six minutes so you do like uh two so two zero one and then max w and max e and i feel like you get like you get oh. cleave max by level eight and that's fine like missing one yeah. point in cleave between seven and eight like that's not a very long it doesn't level make a huge whatever difference and it's not yeah. a long level that's just, true I don't know. Like, I feel like on Sven, the, the, there's such an issue with getting kited, and stun is like, there are so many kills that I finish off because of that extra damage on the stun. I just think it's it's nice to have two. So it's I, noticeable. I, I guess I I've never really looked yeah, down. Yeah, think, I've like, never done it. Oh, one sixty to two twenty or something like that. Like a sixty damage increase. Like I don't know how yeah, how I, I big. Yeah, the... I think it is. Like if I hit someone for seventy five, it's not going to do anything. But if I hit them for one fifty, like that's actually like something kind of substantial. Like think about Spectre. And the difference between hitting someone with like a level one dagger and a level three, like if you have a level three dagger, it's actually doing something. Oh yeah. And and I feel like it's pretty similar to Sven, but it's just like the damage know, jumps you, you all... <clears throat> from one hundred to one seventy five from level one to level two. So yeah, seventy five extra damage. Like that's that's some substantial damage, I think. And it's like just think about think about how much people get away from you as Sven. And like just the idea, especially if you're going Echo Saber, so you have the mana to use it more often. Mm. But I feel like like kills in dota you always just barely get them like the game is so meticulously balanced that any little like extra thing like changes the world and like you don't really lose that much to get your your cleave max by level eight like you're mostly you're not really limited by how whether or not your cleave is level three or four at that point it's just whether or not like you have the farm to clear a huge stack or not and yeah. the farm available to you because you're at that laning phase where you like do the hard camp and then the lane and then the hard camp and then the lane and then the easy camp whenever you can fit it in and like one extra point in cleave isn't going to turn that into like enough time for you to walk all the fucking way over to the medium camp. Like that's not actually, yeah. you know, I, I feel like the extra point in, that doesn't change too much, but like the extra point in stun will yield you a kill or, you know, maybe it won't. That makes miss. a lot of sense. Yeah. So I, I play a shit ton of Sven. Uh, okay. So like three games or no, like 200 <laughs> probably oh gosh, 200 maybe, fucking games, 150. I don't oh know. My God. Maybe, maybe less because, but I have two accounts now and like, I know I've played a bunch of Sven, but I played bad Sven before. Okay. Um, uh, and now I feel like I'm playing a better Sven, which is the, the treads into Dom, uh, send the creep immediately. Wow, you finish treads? Sometimes, I don't know. Like that's the nah, thing. Sometimes I go straight Dom. And so I can start stacking at like six but minutes. But he goes straight Dom with yeah. no boots. Straight and which is <clears throat> a bad thing. I know. Yeah, or, no, brown, brown boots Dom is the, is the way to go. Okay, and then then you grab like your belt of strength. Um, yeah, brown boots Dom. So I always go. So okay, so I go um, stout quell or stout tango salve mango, and then I get quelling, and then brown boots, and then Dom. You know, easy peasy. And yeah. then I get um, I get treads after that, and then I buy wind lace, and then I wind buy lace. echo saber. Yeah, do you go go Dude, with this on cool. every hero, by the way. Um, so the, the old thing was Sven, like, when we stopped going M uh, SNY, like, I loved SNY on this hero. And then I was like, okay, we have to stop going SNY because we go Echo Saber now. So I was like, okay, so how do I make up for the fact that I just lost all the fucking move speed I wanted? It's like, oh, buy a wind lace. Like, oh, until when? Hand. When do you sell that thing? Like, what? Uh, I, I sell it when I get Blink because the okay. mobility doesn't really matter as much. Oh, um, okay. But I, I sell Quelling Blade before. Um Oh, okay, because like their slots become an issue. Sure. That's cool, but so you are stacking though, right? Like you're yeah, you're grabbing that as soon as you can and stacking the ancients. Yeah. Sorry, I'm checking when I sell this thing. Okay, because that's one thing I just recently stacked too much, and I've never done that before. But I had a, like a seven, I think. I think it was seven or six, six or seven stack. And when I went to take it, I didn't have four points in E yet. I only had three points in E. Yeah. Um and I finished off all the small creeps, of course, uh, but I guess I almost died. Yeah, that's, that's that's happened to me before. I've died killing ancients once. It was uh, it was like having a real shit day, and then I just like died killing ancients. It's like, well, game's lost. I don't know that that's a skill that makes me feel like I've like I'm a little better than I am, or I don't know that I've paid attention to, and I got it from the jungle, which is stacking, which is having the yeah. thought of mind to double click Z is what I have it set to, and stack the ancients and. I don't know. Okay, so I, I sell Huge. I sell my wind lace when I get either my BKB or my crit. Not not after a blink. I sell my quelling for the blink, and then BKB or crit goes uh goes my lace. Dude, wow. See these I don't know blightstone yeah. I never pick up unless I'm building a desolator and I need it because it's you yeah. know a component or like 
I don't know. But it, it is, is cheap armor reduction. Yeah, super cheap. Super cheap. Super it's just, it's, so it's so for me, I never get Bladestone really anymore because it takes up my winlay slot. Like, the only hero I ever have buy Bladestone on is PA, and oh, yeah. I also have winlace on that hero most of the time. Um, if I So, like, I feel like every hero, every melee hero needs at least one move speed increase, whether it be phase boots, uh, a Yasha item, or um, that's cool. or, or winlace. That's cool. So, I do that on it. So, like, if I if I go Battle Fury on PA, I really like, um, I like Treads Battle Fury. So I'll go like Treads Battle Fury, and then I have all the slots in the world, and so I just pick up like Blightstone and Windlace. So I have like Treads, Blightstone, Windlace, my Stout Shield, um, and, and then, then straight into Deso. Are you like a strong believer in the Deso PA? Um, uh, my opinion on PA has been changing a lot. I think the be- after playing a few Battle Fury games, um, again because I stopped going Battle Fury and then I tried to start it again, and I'm just very firm that like Phase. Aki, Vanguard, Deso is the only PA build that exists right now. I think you can go Battle Fury, Deso. I just... I, and then uh, Vanguard turns into Abyssal eventually, if you can yeah, get that it's, far? Yeah, it's basically the same as my Juggernaut build, only you don't go you the Yasha and you trade out Deso for... Or you trade out Defusal for the Deso. I was doing my exact Juggernaut build for a while, and that build honestly works just fine on PA, but uh, the Deso is just so good. So, okay... We're noobs, and I love those heroes. I, know. I love PA, and I love Jug, and I love all, like, I love Sven. I love all these safe land carries. Okay. Can you give me a general idea of when I shouldn't pick Sven, when I shouldn't pick Jug, and when I shouldn't pick PA? Nah, great. Question. Don't pick Jug against Timbersaw, otherwise you're fine. Um, okay. PA, don't pick her against Slark under any circumstance. Okay. Um, or or Shadow Fiend. Pretty bad against Shadow Fiend too. Not that you're gonna play against Shadow Fiend. She does but... get nuked down by Shadow Fiend. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What else doesn't PA like? Any any like difficult lane? PA is honestly kind of rough and like PA needs to snowball. I feel like like you can't do badly in a game as PA. Um. So a, a lot of skill and don't play it against the. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't don't Slark play it against Slark. Don't play it against Shadow Fiend. Sven. What about Timber? I feel like Timber. I wreck PAs when I'm playing Timber Saw. Um, Timber isn't too, too bad. So I do this thing on PA now where, um, against anyone that, okay, so against some offlaners, I'll start one clarity against Timbersaw, I'll start two. And then from level one, I just spam dagger. Like, so I, I've talked to the people online about this before. And when I say spam dagger, like I'm not, that's not a fucking joke. Like literally on throwing. cooldown, I have like clarities going all the time and I'm just fucking, just fucking tossing. Just, whoop, Does it proc great. reactive? Um, yeah, I, oh, does it? I don't, actually, I I'm wonder. Sure. There's I, so little thought. Yeah, I wonder too, because it would be... It's only one armor, so it's it, not well, like a big deal. And it's magic damage, which... And it's once every six seconds. And, so it's, it's, and so I'll, I'll it's almost... Yeah, it wouldn't make that much difference, but I, I wonder. Right, but it is an important thing to know. Yeah. Um, I, I should probably know that, honestly. Um, but yeah, so I spam dagger from level one, and you think like... Normally when you play PA, it's like once you get level two dagger, or level three, you think about spamming it. And that comes from the old dagger where it did, you know, half damage to heroes. And then that damage went from doing like 80 damage and then it would scale up to like 180. So it would go from doing like 40 damage a toss, which is like nothing of pure damage and then scale up. Yeah. But the current one, it's 75 damage, which is way more than 40, by the way. And every hero starts with re- <laughs> really fucking low armor and it's physical damage. So you're I know like, mid PA has been yeah. wrecking Wazoo and it's been driving him fucking crazy. And all they do is just sit there, throw a dagger, farm. They don't do the clarity thing that you, that you're talking about well, because yeah, they're in the way. You don't need it. Yeah, oh yeah, I don't. They probably did go a bottle. Um, and um, he's just like, but, this is fucking bullshit. I'm Juggernaut, and I think you guys talked or, or he talked with uh, Flub about it, and Flub was like, you can spin out of it. You know what I mean? So if you ever have to get away from it, but. You're talking about like I don't know like one of those things that like shoots baseballs so you can keep, you know, yeah. hitting. Okay, it, like, here, time. That, that's here. all you do, and it's every six seconds, like over seventy-five damage to to a hero, and it just chews through their regen so quickly. Like, level one heroes are so much squishier than level three heroes. I'm not exactly sure why they just are. Uh, so just do that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here's cool. Here's the deal with with reactive armor. Okay. Uh, only procs when a unit lands an attack on timber saw, regardless of distance, means it cannot proc on missed attacks. Secondary attacks from Moonglaive, <clears throat> Split Shot, and Flat Cannon cannot trigger reactive armor. Procs on the secondary attacks from Marksmanship, Geminate Attack, and the attack from Stifling Dagger. Yep, it just procs. 
Okay, so it on the but on the secondary attacks, what is that? Yep. So the secondary attack is stifling dagger does seventy five damage, and then it adds some percentage of your attack damage, and then applies effects after. So it's talking about like so the, the attack da- the, the percentage of attack damage of stifling dagger is the element of stifling dagger that is propping reactive armor. Oh wow! So wow. and your orb of venom would then do damage with one extra armor on the timber saw. But, well, orb of venom is magic, but yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, gotcha. Or your your blightstone would reduce. It, it, Blightstone's negative three now, right? Didn't they buff no, that? No, it's, 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 it's still two. Oh, it's still two. So you're, Dang, you're saying all this shit. Yeah, it's still two. Okay. So it only does one negative one at that point. Yeah, sure. Okay. That's interesting. That, that's interesting to know. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Weird shit. It's, it's just stuff that I can't concern myself with right now. I don't think that's <laughs> going to make it's... me better. I don't, you know, I need to yeah, get. There, there are certain things like fucking magic damage on like maelstrom is really good if they have a shit ton of armor like if they have a sven and his bkb whittles down maelstrom and mjolnir could be some of your best damage items but in in a real case you're gonna ask like okay does my hero naturally build mjolnir like no what is mjolnir why is that so good for magic because it does magic damage i know so but only when it's like like flying off yeah okay and but and that makes the world of the difference against like a level 25 sven I mean, there's some difference. Uh, okay. Bro, I'm just trying to say something that's helpful. Well, because I just recently <laughs> built a Mjolnir on Ancient Apparition. It was a it was a 72 minute long game. Uh, okay. I had ags. I had everything that I needed. I was buying. I, be- I believe I believe that you didn't do it for poor reasons. No, it was because we were megaed, and I had right. to get a Mjolnir, and okay. we we had like hey, three Mjolnirs. It was Mjolnir. a crazy that, game. No. We almost won, um, <laughs> and they we were against what how we ended up losing is. They kept sending in one hero at a time to hit our ancient because our tier fours were gone. But mm-hmm. we were we we got to the point where we stabilized because we had three Mjolnirs on the team. And I I took a lane as ancient apparition with S N Y Mjolnir, on on an ancient apparition. <laughs> I had my ags. I had everything like that I needed sure. in that regard. All right, S N Y is highly questionable in that situation. The Mjolnir's fine though. Okay, why what I I felt like I needed movement and a little bit more tank. Okay, I mean, like that's. The... Did you have room for a wind lace and anything else? I was six, uh, like soft six slotted. Pro- like, probably not. Yeah, like I, I, had, I had. Was was there no reason to have a Yules that game? What about travels? Travels I... would have been a good contender. Travels would have been, but it didn't feel like we needed them because we were never able to push the the megas far enough away. Well, don't don't underestimate that. But at some okay, point, so you were one, need you're to. never going to win the game if you're not going to be like you have the ability to go to the base, right? Yeah. Um, obviously, someone's probably going to have to go back and defend against the megas, but I mean, tra- travels is pretty good. But they have a hundred fucking move speed now. That probably did more for your move speed than a Sanjin Yasha. And if you take away the move speed aspect of Sanjin Yasha. What does that item even do for you? It provides 190 health, you know what I mean? And, like, <laughs> I, I don't know how much it's health like, not like. even an Ogre Club. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, it has an Ogre Club in it. So yeah, actually, you would have enhanced your damage, at least, with Yules, because your well, and I'm atta- would have impacted your I'm range. attacking no, slightly faster. Damage. I'm attacking slightly faster because yeah, of the so it's agility. Yeah, we got, like, the, the worth of a Dragon Lance to an Agi Hero only for, like, 4,000 gold. Yeah. I mean, also, you have to spend money for travels, right? But in, anyway, I'm, I'm just saying that if you got, like, if you even got just, like, a fucking second Maelstrom, right? Like, I if should have. And a second Maelstrom. I, or... A second Maelstrom would have been way cooler and try and get two Mjolnirs. It, oh, dude. Test, just go, like, fucking Tesla Drow, only your ancient apparition. I don't, I don't know. I mean, there, there's some other items. That Tesla would... Drow? I yeah. never even heard that. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, Does it prop twice as much? Mjolnirs? It. So no, it'll... Oh, not, not quite. The way it works it's diminishing. is... diminishing? Like Maelstrom will proc, and then if so, if Mel, if one Maelstrom procs, the other one won't, and then it'll tick up the uh, the RNG like the, the oh. pseudo RNG of the other one. So like, and that that's the reason why like Daedalus is okay on on PA because her her superior crit. You know, if 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 it worked perfectly, you would say like, okay, Daedalus will will work fifteen percent less uh, on PA than it will on like other heroes. But because of the way pseudo RNG works. Um, it's more like maybe Daedalus procs like 5% less than it does on other heroes. And that's like not like the proc goes from 30% or whatever the fuck it is or from 25% to 20. It goes from like 25% to like 23%. Um, so having wow. multiple sources of shit that obey pseudo RNG really doesn't actually like impact them that negatively. Because the next attack has to wait its turn. Yeah, yeah. So it'll so. it'll just... 
yeah, so like if one thing procs, then the next one has a higher chance of procking. So it's not like one thing procs. And if the other one were to pro also like want to proc at it that time, wasted. it's not like it's oh, not like wow. that's wasted. It's just it'll happen, you know, later. Well, that's crazy. Right. Yeah. Things. Okay. That, yeah. Like things that I just I'm glad I know. And I'll it's pro cool to hear about. Yeah. But will you ever no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, will but I ever put it? I into don't it? think I it'll practice. make me better. It's just it's I, cool uh, to know. I need lifesteal on PA, and I was like, man, I need lifesteal on PA, but I got this Deso. Where's my damage going to come from? And then I sold the Deso and bought a Daedalus and then bought lifesteal. So shit, won a game once. Wow. And you're, okay, so you're, see, I don't know, dude. It's, when I Daedalus, have an item, I don't think Daedalus about it. PA, man, that shit is so good. Like, you throw a dagger and it doesn't crit, you're like, oh, man, what a waste of six seconds. Now I got to wait again. But if you have Daedalus, you just throw a dagger and it crits, like, every fucking time. You fucking blink strike on someone, it's just like, crit, crit, crit. Everything's great. Okay, I have a question for you, not PA-related, but Wind Ranger related I've seen you play Wind Ranger yeah. Today, I'm uh, playing solo offlane Wind Ranger And... One? Say again? Mistake number one. It we won the game. It, it actually fine. doesn't it, doesn't mean that's bad. It doesn't mean it's good. Okay, doesn't mean it's good. I agree. I am. It, I'm against a juggernaut, um, and Oops. an undying, Ugh. and I'm winning the lane for the most okay. part. Um, sure. I bought a stick. I'm hitting. They're not running away from my uh, W, my power shot. I'm hitting. Why would they? Yeah, and they're getting. They're both getting hit in one power shot. That's the, good for you. The wand is providing a good amount of uh, mana, so I can keep doing it. Yeah, good against uh, good against undying. Good against Agreed. undying. Yeah, and I know, I and just jug said spinning that. and shit like that. Um, um, add that. I don't know. And so I buy I buy I started with boots tango offlane, and I knew that I could just yeah, that's good. I was just like boots tango, um, and I'm just gonna run around them. I'm gonna get power shot, uh, level that up, and I'm gonna hit him with it and be annoying as fuck. Um, I get to the point where I have like 850 gold and I said, you know what? I'm going to buy mana boots. I'm going to buy mana boots. I'm going to sit on mana boots for a second. I know I'm still going to go phase. Um, but for now, this is this is good enough. I Wait, need what? more mana for n more power shots. Why would you? Why would you if you were going to go, f like, I, I'm okay with you playing like a supporty spellcaster uh, wind ranger and then going mana boots. Like, that's whatever. But why would you, what are you going to do with the energy booster if you're going to have phase boots? Um, well, I kept it until I had my, so I kept my mana boots until I had my Bloodthorn, because I needed an Orchid that game. I needed to stop sure. that Jug from Omni, Omni, so I had it all the way up until Bloodthorn, then oh, I had... Why, why wouldn't he just use Manta? He, he eventually got Manta, but I wrecked him in lane. Yeah, I mean, that's so predictable that he's gonna go Manta, though. I don't think Orchid was the play. Um, but I went up against, uh other heroes that needed to be other like other heroes sure but not for juggernaut i, I wasn't for juggernaut it was for invoker that i got the orchid because he wouldn't shut the fuck up i used quaswex invoker yeah that's controlling us all and then i was like okay i already have the orchid i'm gonna go the bloodthorn then i dismantled sold the energy booster and bought phase boots um I feel like at that point in the game don't buy phase boots because the whole point of phase boost is it's 24 damage at it's like okay so oh, I, i've okay. delivered this soliloquy before that 24 damage is Nothing an expensive later. item. Mm -hmm. You should get it early when the cheapness helps you fight them. Mm -hmm. um, so, it, like, the 20, 24 damage for 8, 820 or 840 gold it's is It's more incredible. the movement speed in the phase, you know what I mean? Okay, so you know what else gives more move speed than, uh, than phase boots? Boots of Travels. And just dismantled by Boots of Travels, sit on the energy <clears throat> booster. Maybe. Sell sell the energy booster too. I don't know, but I mean, yeah. like, it, like if you're buying phase boots at like thirty minutes, something is wrong with your build. Well, yeah, there was <laughs> it was, dude. I got a blood thorn. Or just leave them at brown boots, eggs. right? Like, if you need to increase your move speed, press E. And if that's if you really need move speed that badly, like, just mm -hmm. don't spend half half of a thousand gold for tw like twenty four damage. You know, like your your late game gold needs to go to what I call, like, transformative items that, like, radically shift the way the game is played. Like, no fight was ever turned by someone buying drums at 40 minutes, right? Like, that's not actually going to do shit for you. Like, the, the, uh, something like a drum has nothing to do with whether or not you just got evasion before they got MKB or some shit like that, right? So, think about that, all right? I, I'll tr I will. I mean, my, it was, it was a split... I was solo offlane. I was like, I could power shot more, and I almost have the gold. And so <laughs> yeah. I bought mana boots. 
And yeah. you know what? what I if, could power shot all the time, and it was great. Would you ever send send wind off lane in solo? Not really. Um, I, th- I mean, if you drafted it and then it was a really shit mid lane for Wind Ranger, I don't know who that is. But if it, if it was and you were like, shit, we got to do something, and they drafted two melee heroes, so I'll take her off lane. I would do that. But like, no coordinated game or no no no, no game where both teams have decent drafts is going to result in Wind Runner off lane being like the play. Okay. So I'll so be honest with if, you. What happens if you get laned? I or, didn't. What, what, if you get zoned, like what happens? What do you do? You like power shot from range, and like yeah. what does a wind runner do without farm? She doesn't ult and kill anyone, so she like no. hopes for a good shackle and then does nothing to follow up on it. Fantastic. Yeah. And luckily, I got some pretty sweet yeah, so shackles. Yeah, you can do well. Like, yeah, um, I th- I just yeah I think it was just an outplay situation more than it was anything, but. I believe it. I mean, it, it, I mean, you have a wand. Undying is there. You bought boots early. Juggernaut doesn't have starting boots yet. And I would say also get face boots because if you do, like, J- if Jug has face boots and you don't, he can potentially oh. catch up to you. If you have face yeah. boots, he has face boots, and you have wind run, Jug mm-hmm. can never do anything to you. Yeah. And Jug never did anything to me. The biggest thing he did to me was buy a poor man's shield. <laughs> And yeah. I noticed the second he did. Oh, yeah, because you, you can't, like, I, I've played with, like, Vafa or Sultan Slayer or whatever, the middle of my team, and he, like, ulted an Ember Spirit once, and he was like, why didn't I, like, and he, he basically just got killed by his fucking passive Flame Guard, and oh. the Ember Spirit team, you have to attack once, because if you're, like, doing fucking Windrunner ulti, you're doing, like, you know, 14 damage a hit, and then it's being reduced by 20, so you just, like, poor man shield against Windrunner, so fucking good. Uh, it's incredible yeah and i mean i'm this jug is like oh and he's popping his healing ward and n- not caring about it and yeah. i'm just like Padoo, like shoot it down every single time and no he has to wait like 30 seconds and i'm like okay well you're not you have no regen and that's gone for 30 seconds and he's off hiding and i'm like i'm right. doing nothing like also, he may as well have died and and came back flame with full health if you had phase boots i could have killed him completely negated the, the poor man's shield right Oh, yeah. Him. Yeah. Th- th- think about the damage. Yeah. God. Yeah. Um, also, uh, if think about how much gold mana boots I cost. I could have straight up bought them, too. I could have just not... right-clicked the phase boots and straight up yeah. bought them. It's Instead, like I gold, thought right? energy booster. Yeah. I don't know. Wrong. And I Yeah, I guess it was yeah, so it's just wrong. Not 900 gold for an energy booster, right? Mm-hmm. How many mangoes is that? It's like five. Four or five four. or something. I mean, it's more than four. It's like uh, five four or six. point something. F- between four and five. And do you need that, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. We should just have Proud come on and... Well, it's it's been a very educational <laughs> yeah. show. 7.2. 7.2. Holy shit. So if you bought... I mean, you can't stack them up, but if you bought seven mangoes, that would have given you way more mana than, like, uh, seven seven mana boot uses. Because the, you use the mana boot, and then it also costs 35 mana or whatever, right? I mean, the mana boots are good for your team. And you were getting but them But if you ever you, are though. buying something for the regen... Just think of like how many of those, uh, how many consumables you could buy to total out like the same thing. Um, and yeah, you sell the mana boots later. Shut the and fuck got up. Four and fifty gold. Yeah. Yeah. But, so think yeah. about nine clarity potions. Then, like, could would yeah. you could you have gone through nine clarity potions that game? I don't fucking think so. Or even if you're yeah. gonna take that down and say you sell them got half. God, and you only it like that. Three mangoes. Why not just buy the fucking three mangoes? You weren't gonna use them. More Where than it's three like, mangoes. oh, that sucks. Like that was. And I was thinking mangoes were 180 gold because I always buy smoke instead of mangoes because yeah. smoke kind of looks like mangoes and it's on the same <laughs> row. I do this all the fucking time and buy smoke really? and then yeah. So like I'm TPing out and I'm like, oh, I need a mango and I buy smoke <laughs> and like ah fuck. And it's like, there's no invis hero at all. Smoke, but there are no smokes. What do no, we you do? mean dust. I, you mean, I, mean, dust. I mean dust. I mean dust. Sorry, not smoke. Okay. I mean dust. Sorry, because it's okay. 180 gold. All right. And I so I find myself using dust in fights just to slow them by 20%. And it's like, all right, well, I'll just dust them. Wait, du- I thought dust only slowed invis heroes. Or somebody who was invis that you revealed it by does. 20%. Well, it doesn't even do that. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. I'm... I, I was reading a text. I don't know what happened, but I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear any ignorance. <laughs> I mean, you learn something so new blessed. about Dota like every five minutes, right? So yeah, I'm just um, impressed yeah. you knew that dust slowed people at all. I knew that it slowed people. Yeah, I, I was, and that I knew the I knew the, the right right way. Um, right way that it you slows it people. Was, you thought we could just buy a fifteen percent slow for yeah. Only if you're in, only if you're invisible do you get <laughs> because slow. I never really really yeah, thought so like about it. Like if you're bounty hunter running from someone and you know they have dust, it actually makes no sense to stealth. Oh wow! Yeah, because you may as well just go hundred percent speed, and then you slow them by fifteen percent. Whereas, dude, or, it's been or so just leave things. stealth, right? Yeah. 
so many things I just never have thought of. But yeah, I'm sure I've do you? I'm sure I've known they've had dust and panic invised oh, on my yeah. way out. I mean, anyway. there's no I don't I would never fault you for doing that, but that's the kind of thing like, hey, by the way, you know, you shouldn't have st- uh, good stuff there and it would have been a better play. And you go like, okay, shut up, dude. I'm just trying to play Dota. Fuck. I guess the only Oh, time, in the heat of the moment, yeah, you'd be pissed. The only time I that. ever pop dust when there's like no shadow blades and no way that they're going to be invis is when I accidentally buy it and then I think, "Oh, well, at least it's slowed." But if you think <laughs> about it like that it that would be so core like for every oh, team yeah. to have if it just slowed everybody. Yeah, supports yeah, would be buying dust all the time. Yeah, god. Full screen AoE 15% slow like your entire <laughs> fucking screen. Yeah, that'd be a good item. <laughs> And this is why I'm where I'm at. And, like, uh, offensively moonlight shadow someone and then slow them all. Like, shit. <laughs> like, get Rubik to steal moonlight shadow and turn it into a slow. That's the new strat. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I... When they I finally really... buff that dust of appearance like they like they need to. <laughs> it just shows that, you know, the difference of what, you know, 2,000... MMR is yeah. basically because I'm 20. Okay, I, I have a question that you sparked in me before we go with Proud because okay. you asked him what he thinks like the difference is between him and us, right? Jesus. Yeah. What do you think the difference is between you and a 6500 player? Um, <laughs> the same thing: farm speed and knowing when to back. <laughs> I'm mean, kind of a, a greater like knowing your limits is is a huge deal reaction times predicting when people are going to do shit and just like the game sense itself like i was talking to a team who played against um fanatic in the open qualifiers and they were like it was just fucking unreal like we would anything would happen and they would just instantly be on us all at the same time when we had no idea where the fuck they were going to come from and every time we would try to gank them nothing worked and they just weren't there anymore and it was just yeah just the, the, it's just the game sense is fucking unreal um and, like, when we played against Perky Pepperonis, um, Skrunk said that there were a number of times where, like, he was so sure he was going to get a kill, and then he just barely didn't through, like, this tiny amount of outplay. Um, and it's just it's just stuff like that, like, get, getting the little bit out of everything and uh, just, like, slight optimization. Farm speed is pretty decent, but just ha- ha- having, like, a very deep understanding of the way the game should go. Like, think about think about the your, your best hero and how down pat you have the plan for that game is like my, my lone druid i know how that fucking game is supposed to look like at every fucking point in the game your timings and, down to everything yeah, yeah dude like you know mm. your timings you know what you want to do when you want to do it mm. you can take all of their two tier two towers and then not like get team wiped three times by throwing yourself mid and then feed all your gold away like the ability to do that you know just in no, no, knowing your limits and knowing how to take how to take an advantage it's really it's, it's all about the limits honestly like I don't know if you saw, there was this clip of Bulldog, and he was playing, like, Clockwork. And yeah, and it said, know your hero's limits, and he's, like, at a court, like, it looks like he's about to yeah. die. The Ember Spirit comes in. Yeah, and he's just, he just knows from the first second that he's going to win that fight. He said, ha-ha, and... loser. And, yeah. like, this full full health Ember Spirit's coming after him, and he's a sliver of health as Clockwork and kills him. And it him. just doesn't matter. Yeah, so. And he just, just knew. Yeah, you're right. Knowing that that intimately, and then just general game sense, which doesn't really mean a lot, but if you're just thinking at all times, like, stop yourself every so often in a match. And just ask yourself, okay, where do I think this person is? Where do I think this person is? So on and so forth. And then ask, like, okay, if I was them right now, what would I want to do? Um, and then you can kind of figure that out, but every other part of your play will suffer. So the difference is I've, been, I've started trying to do this. Like, at any point in the game, I'll just look at the map and be like, okay, like, where the fuck are they? Where If I was carrying, like, where would I go here? Um, so being able to kind of, like, look at one map state and then predict where their, everyone is going to be in 30 seconds it's a bit is like a really really big thing like um against anti-mage i feel like that's the best way to practice it like if you need to gank anti-mage you never gank where he is same with tinker you never gank where they are you gank where they're going to be so if you see anti-mage once ping where you think he's going to be in 30 seconds and try to gank that location and that's like the best way to kind of check where your game knowledge is at that's brilliant well i i knew that kind of with tinker where i would hide uh as a creep wave was coming in as slark and then let him uh boot to travel in and then yeah. fucking pounce his ass and right. kill him. Um, but never to the degree of like, I think he's going to be mid, so I'm going to head mid. And yeah. then sure enough, he's mid. I mean, that's just like the ability to like scan the battlefield. Like that's like, 
you know, being like the pros are like Alexander the Great, like he with a sweep of an eye, he he mm-hmm. knew the battlefield and and how the war was going to be fought. You know, as yeah, the legend all, all goes, or so say the yeah, yeah as the legend goes with the, with the sweep. Funny of an all eye. that stuff about history, victors. You know, yeah, I don't know, but proud, God damn it, like that was the most educational uh, little bit the... of. Uh, yeah, the the other kind of like main thing, so I would say it manifests itself in like, you know, knowing when to gank people like, okay, so if you want to smoke up, how many missed smokes have you had in your life? The answer is all of them. Uh, and also, I mean, same thing with me, like I miss smokes all the time. I'm, I'm a really bad smoke caller, honestly. I don't know what it is. It's like a mix of whenever I want to do the smokes because of whatever reason, they always happen way later than I'm intending and then I'm still ganking the place I was intending or the good place to smoke is incredibly dangerous. By the way, if you're ever smoking, and you're dire and you're smoking through like let's say you go radiant jungle then you're like oh i think they're at their ancients and then you walk up like to their ancients from their mid lane that yeah. is the worst fucking thing to do never do that never walk up because it way. reveals you and then you, you fucking yeah dude it's just you you're first. in that funnel they're all spread out and you just fucking every time we've ever done that everyone just fucking dies and it's the fucking worst shit that's ever fucking happened to any fucking person in this fucking world <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So oftentimes, oh like God. you have to draw the path on the map where it's like, w- yeah, it's like please walk, don't go that don't way. Don't walk up anything when you're smoked. Basically, yeah. the only yeah. thing you're gonna do is go down. Hopefully, one one level, as it were, to fight them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always going down when I play Dota. Yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> going down too, dude. I'm. I've been. I've been the try hardiest I've ever been, uh, as far as Dota goes, okay. and I and was theory crafty. Else. That's and, fine. And a little theory crafty as far as like, um, I don't know. It's I'm gonna. I'll try the two zero one on Sven. I think that's interesting because I you absolutely need E early in my opinion. Oh yeah, like when you just one point E. I mean, even just like when I'm tanking creeps under tower while uh, trying to last hit them, like I'll press E. I'll yeah. do that shit. You can't stop me. Yeah, and you take no damage. And it's twenty five minutes. It's one less tango. It's it's you know the cost of yeah. one tango. I yeah. guess. Okay, so. you don't have to tell me. I I know. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Well, uh, there, there's one the, other thing I wanted to it. say. Okay. Um, Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Right? Oh, we, yeah. Were gonna say, well, we were going to close it. We were going to close it, but well, you know, not, we're not going to. If you're going to keep talking, then we'll just. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll what just, was the no. thing? Fuck. All right. Start talking for like two seconds. Yeah. I don't remember what I was going to say. I don't know. You can find you guys, us. Oh, knowing when to back. Okay. So the, the big, the other big <laughs> example of knowing when to back is fucking like, okay, if you're ever killing someone and it's taking more than 20 seconds, or not 20 seconds, if it's taking more than five seconds, if it's taking longer than your stun lock combo and like, there's a chance that you will get reacted to. Like if you're in their shit and your kill hasn't happened yet, you need to know when to be like, all right, we're this, this, this fight is not going ideally. The part that we initiated on someone who didn't know what was going on is not going ideally. We need to get the fuck out before the part that they initiate on does go ideally. So if you're ever doing a gank and something looks okay and the fight just starts looking weird, don't let the fight look weird and be like, ah, well, we'll just kind of wait and see how this works out. Like just get the fuck back. All right. If anything starts looking weird, you don't know how it's gonna go, and you can escape cleanly. Fucking do that shit. I don't... feel like I put that call out all the time to back. Yeah, that's where like the bat. B comes in. Like I, when shit I starts looking like, weird, but I really do feel like I put it that call out all the time, and then I, I'm either ignored, <laughs> which it happens with randoms, or it's no, 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 we can do this with which people that I know. Roland. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my MMR yeah. is like quantifiably, yeah. you know, it's hundreds, quanti- hundreds, yeah. and hundreds, and hundreds, hundreds, exactly yeah. enough for it to be hundreds. Yeah, just no. enough. You're twenty three ninety. I'm twenty seven, dude. And that's and that's your party. Dude. Well, we don't need. No, I that's my fucking solo. Oh. This fight. So go you fuck can yourself. Have that fight after I hang up. Anyway, the point <laughs> is, anytime a fight looks weird. I mean, I know at certain MMRs every fight looks weird, no matter what the fuck you do. But when the fight looks weird for you. There's a huge value in spamming B and saying, this fight is bad. This is a bad fight. They're going to react. Everyone is missing. Get the fuck back. Stop it. They have a tide. <laughs> we have a fucking Sand King, and we don't know where he is. Wow. And we're ganking an anti-mage, and we have no disable. Get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, that was one of my games yesterday. Anyway. I'm going to do the B. The Q. I'm going to do the bind. I'm going to do the bind. That's, yeah, that's the yeah that was maybe the most valuable a, lesson. Yeah, it's not a this. chat wheel bind. It's it's like you bind the key B to say that. I'm going to do that for sure. Yeah. And Good. I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. All right, yeah. close her out. If you guys want to find us, we're at defensethepatients.com. Email us at defensethepatients at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at dot P underscore show. You can find Proud at Proud Dota. Yes. 
You can find Roland at dot p underscore Roland and me at dot p underscore Cyphus. I'll give it our, you know, because, you know, we'll a little mixture of uh, both because you and I only give out the show. Ursi and Proud give out their own, you know. It's, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a good mixture. And at dot p underscore show. I already did that And one. you can find Flub at at Flub Dota with two Bs. I <laughs> yeah. love Flub more than anyone else that I'm talking to right now. Really <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like Flub more than anybody I'm talking Fine. to fuck right Flub. now, too. I'll say fuck Flub. So. He's very fuckable. <laughs> Flub. A, he's a good dude like not like emotionally hey like guys. if you emotionally fuck flub i will kill you <laughs> <laughs> no that was a good show yesterday it was, yeah, that uh, was a good show. i get to listen to that I while they were that recording guy. i'm just glad that you you haka show got brought up within 15 minutes they were like hey what hero would you decide and he's like so i really like anime <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, see, man. See your OC. Oh, and Wazoo missed so many goddamn Sharky Shark good jokes. Like, his ult should be Make It Rain, you know? If he's going to be Sharky Shark the Rapper, yeah. make it rain. You know? <laughs> sharky Shark the Rapper. I feel like that's, like, just Slark. He's a little Sharky it's Shark. It's been dude. Shark <laughs> Week on Dot P this what? week with yeah. <laughs> Slark on Monday, Sharky Shark the Rapper yesterday, and then, of course, because you're on the Wednesday show, more fucking I didn't, Slark. I played one game of Slark today, but, yeah. <laughs> What what would your guys' heroes be? I don't know more than like ten seconds. If you don't have one, just say pass. I don't give a shit. Um, I I think uh, Tony Stark. Tony. Okay, you know all right, I mean? that's good enough. Uh, pa- you... Another mechanized suit hero, dude. Okay, another that's mechanized fine. Suit all right, hero. If, you, if it was just Tony Stark, we'd be like, okay, shut the fuck up. Yeah, another mechanized suit hero would be awesome. Uh, okay. Something that could range, like in carry us. Something that to... can go another level up and have vision. That would be cool. Um, and okay. I know they've talked about that with Yules, but that would be a cool hero concept. Yeah, I like that idea, honestly. That's yeah. a cool thing for Yules to do. Because imagine if I could be like, oh, see you up here. How's it going? My team's coming right up to get you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that would be, sure. that's, that'd be valuable. And we, I don't know. Anyway, Cyphus, what about you? Do you have anything interesting to say? Uh, I, do we have anything that's like Bard-esque, you know, from D&D? No. Nobody it's plays awesome. Bard even that plays D&D. No, nah, but I mean, if you're going to go There's with that Naga theme. Siren. like That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah I guess Naga, Naga a little she's bit. In, she's kind of got some. But, yeah. like, she doesn't, I mean, no one has a basic ability that, you know, is Well, like, a, a good Bard support that, like, has that, like, has basically, like, imagine a, a character in the game, a, a support in the game with, like, two really solid, like, auras that you could swap between even, or, or change yeah, that's, which that's aura cool. was oh, active. Change which aura was active. That you would know? be cool. Stances that were auras. Yeah, th- I think that's cool. That's yeah. cool. So you, the hero actually had six abilities, but only three could be on at any time. Right. Yeah. All that's right. cool. Is it, like, this nature bard with, like, a... No, I'm thinking more, like, uh... No, I'm thinking, like, you know, traditional bard. Uh, you bard know. Or, like, a city bard. Yeah, like a, like an urban bard, you know? Nobody would play him. No one. Be, nobody would. Oh, play you'd that, play you know? him if he had the right auras, you know. <laughs> He'd play him the that right would auras. be cool. But the thing is, he would have to have something like does it? Does it? Like is, I does imagine him like click? the support ver- No, I, like, I imagine him like the support version of like an invoker, almost. You that's know? cool. That is should be implemented. Um, uh, it looks like there is terrible weather in California right now. And <laughs> we just lost Proud. Uh, we lost Proud. <laughs> so we'll but never know what his hero will I, be. <laughs> we'll, never, we'll never know what his suggestion will be unless he reconnects to this call. Um, All right. Uh, oh, find us at the Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Defense the Patients. Shout out to everybody who's uh, donated there. We're going to, on next Monday show, we should go through and just talk about each of the patrons. Um, oh, 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 we right. got him back. Okay. There we All go. Right, what's yours? What's, what's yours? yours? <laughs> All right. I was thinking about this. I want, I want a dude that fights with shields. I've always had this idea for like this weird fucking, not like steampunky, but kind of like weird mechanized engineery thing. I want like a dude with shields and weapons and shit. And he's got like a fucking, like a chain rail to each arm and he like swaps out weapons and shields and shit. I think that'd be dope. And so like, like you pull, of, like, you pull out a physical weapon, you pull out a magical weapon, you pull out like that type of thing. Yeah, I just want, I want like, I want some shields. I like shields. Shields are dope. So I want to fight with like two shields. And then I don't know, like you swap out shields with like an axe or something. You got like, so you got the, the main thing is you got this chain rail from your back and you got all these weapons and shit on your back. So you like do some shield shit. And then I don't know, you do some like ka-chang, ka-clang, clang shit, like from Berserk or something. And then like the shield fucking like whizzes That's onto cool. your back and then something whizzes on the other chain rail. What if you controlled both action. of his arms and you could either have two, like tread switching, but for your weapons, but for your weapons. Yeah. So it's like shield, so shield left, uh, sword, right, sword, you right. Kind of, more than you sword kind of left. have that with troll in the sense of well, like the toggle. Yeah. throwing versus, you know, melee. Yeah, I, I, I like yeah. that Dota has those kind of more simplistic heroes with, you know, like lion has three fucking skills and they just do shit. So I, I'd, I'd want to stay 
away from like the League of Legends shit where like every hero has this dumbass gimmick and they all play one certain way and there's no nothing interesting about it. But yeah. like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I just like that idea. And you just, you know, it's just, what do you do in Dota? I was like, man, I've had this idea since I was like six and I want that. <laughs> <laughs> so shield and your anime, no, that's kind of what I, what I was going for with the bard as well. Like, I, I like the, I, I like the idea of a hero that you could easily that you could easily first pick and know that you were going to be able to adapt the play style to depending on what the other team picked. You know what I mean? And like, oh, I'm going to have to go a uh, a 2 1 2 passive where yeah. it's on the and second I, I, passive. I know it's, it's somewhere out there somebody's face palming right now going that's every hero, man. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> Honestly though, if you go um shield axe shield sword, I feel like that's a pretty good build. <laughs> 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 and mine would be like, you know, you know when uh, Iron Man does that thing from his hand, you could do that on that hero. Oh, <laughs> Lego Dota, that's what you want to play. Uh, I just want to play no heroes in the in the game at all. It's just me farming creeps, dude, and getting gold and buying. <laughs> that's items. why you play. See, that's why we're like the same person. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you play passive bots all the time. I do. I want to get farmed, dude. I want to feel <laughs> like I'm snowballing. <laughs> <laughs> I've never right, practiced against the a passive this? I mean, I have practiced. So. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, and then ton of time. last thing, YouTube is getting all of the old podcast episodes. So basically, the way we host our podcast, we, um, we are now able to sync all of that with YouTube. We had a couple of issues along the way. It's been I'm trying to sort through all of that. I don't know how quickly it'll happen, but... The majority of the .p catalog is now available on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash .ptv1. You can still find the old uh, all of the uh, Theorycraft Thursday games that, are being, that have been played. Any of the old past videos are still there. But now you can also find the podcast, and we're slowly adding. And every new podcast will start being on there as well. Um, so if you want, if you prefer to listen through YouTube, you can. And a big apology to those who follow our feed. Because we did not intend to release all like four hundred things at once. I think it was like three hundred and seventy five episodes simultaneously. That was not the plan. People got three hundred and seventy five <laughs> alerts because of us who, whoever followed the YouTube. Uh, but that's what happened. So big apology there for that. Uh, but yeah, it, I think it'll be fun because now people will be able to like swap between uh, you know the YouTube video of the Theorycraft Thursday podcast, and then you can go yeah. watch the game as well. Yeah, you can all do it all right there. If you want to help with that at all, you can donate directly to my PayPal. That's yeah, right. I think we have that. Uh, yeah, uh, we already covered that. Yeah. Everywhere to uh, just help directly. I mean, the oils that go into keeping his soul patch, the shape and form. I don't think the audience knows that you give him shit about thickness. the soul patch. <laughs> I don't even have a soul patch. I hate. <laughs> That's like the one thing I don't like about you. <laughs> I mean, there's other things, but that's the there's thing, other man. things. It's the one thing. But I just, there's other you know, things. I'm just, I'm such a try hard little bitch, and then you just tell me that I have a soul patch, and then I look in the mirror and I'm like, I'm worthless. And I, <laughs> oh my god! You know what? If it's, it's that way, it's tub, and it, I just, you it's know, it's not that way. I hope, dude. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You're just gone. Oh, All right, you man. brought it in. You you take us out. All right. All right well, so that was Theory Craft Thursday with Ursinity and. Pre- I'll see you guys next time. If it was our theory, it was your fucking fault, you stupid little bitch. I will go with that. I I like it.